Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Castle Perfect here bringing you another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle video. I do not remember the name of the guy that I'm facing in this video, but it is kind of irrelevant because this video wasn't actually worth uploading, but um, I actually promise you guys to be uploading quite a lot of Pokemon Wi-Fi battles, so why not? Let's go ahead and start this off. Um, this is an RU slash UU match, guys, for those of you who didn't know. That's what I only play at this point on Generation 5. I really don't like OU tiers, but whatever. My enemy is gonna lead over, well, not my enemy, just my opponent is gonna lead over myself. I'm gonna lead over the Mesprit. Um, as you can see, I actually predicted him to uh, go ahead and set up Stealth Rocks, but um, apparently that, that is one offensive ourselves. So he goes for the U turn and uh, send out the King Drass. I go for the Trick and trick him the Toxic Orb. Yes, I really wanted to get the Toxic Orb on the ourself, but apparently that didn't work out, so that's kind of unfortunate. So the Hydro Pump is gonna take me out with a critical hit. I actually didn't really think it really mattered, but because you know Hydro Pump is stabbed by Kindra and Kindra's special attack is really decent, so I didn't really think that mattered that much. So I'm gonna send out my Toro here, and I'm gonna go for the Rock Climb, and this Rock Climb miss is going to freaking be extremely important to the match here, because you will see. Because if I had a Rock Climb going on on the Hitmon top, I would have, I would have stand a chance against it. So um. What's gonna happen here, I'm gonna switch out into a Steelix, he's gonna make a double switch, right, which was very good on his part, because he was basically predicting the switch into Steelix, maybe um, he saw through my prediction and he thought that I would predict the fake out, and that is exactly what I predicted, but um, didn't really work out in the end for me, so really good prediction on his part. I am going to predict here the Hydro Pump, and I'm gonna go out into Swordsman, uh, which is gonna be my Samurai. Uh, Samurai is gonna take that Hydro Pump like a beast, and the Toxic is really doing some job, or doing some work on the Kindra actually. And uh, he's gonna go for the Hidden Power Grass or Electric, one of those, and uh, that is going to be super effective and almost gonna knock me out. Well, not really almost, but he was pretty close to it. I'm gonna go for the Ice Beam, actually breaking the switch back into uh, <clears throat> something else. I really, I really didn't know what to do at this point. I could have gone for Night Slash or maybe a Physical Attack because this is a mix, mix sweeper, um, uh, like uh, Samurai, so that is why. Uh, unfortunately, I go for Ice Beam, didn't, didn't really do that much, which is kind of unfortunate, so he's gonna go for the Draco Meteor, and that is going to do a shit ton to my Steelix, which is actually resistant, but um, as we all know, Steelix doesn't really have the best special defense in the world, so that is not gonna really work out in the end for me. Uh, he's gonna be scared, or, well, not really scared, he just wanna use his Kindra's Death Father later on in the game, so that's why he decided to switch into the Roserade. As I'm gonna switch into my Kingler. Now, this is going to be really important, guys. I go for the Rock Slide. <clears throat> And I get the Rock Slide on the Roserade really good, uh, but I don't get the flinch, which is unfortunate because, you know, Roserade is a fast motherfucker and it can really, really hurt my team a lot. So, um, yeah, unfortunately I didn't get the crit right there, but uh, he doesn't get the poison either, so uh, not... Uh, oh, wait, wait, what am I talking about? I have Sheer Force, I cannot even get the flinch, I'm stupid, never mind, guys. So, <laughs> I was actually really counting on the flinch on that battle, but apparently uh, I wasn't using my brains. <clears throat> So anyways, uh, he's gonna switch out into the Kingdra, I'm gonna switch out into my Steelix, and as I said before, he's gonna use his Kingdra as Death Father, which is really good on his part. So he's gonna send out the Asumario here. Now, I really, I really, really was seeing through his uh, strategy right here, I knew he would set up with something, so I stayed in and went for the Rock Slide. Now at this point I was like, well, I could switch out and predict maybe the Waterfall or something like that, but there is really nothing on my team that can take something like that. And at the same time, really, Steelix is uh, pretty much useless at this point, so I might as well just stay in and go for the Rock Slide once again because it is boosted by sheer force because rock slide has a secondary effect which is flinching and that is not gonna happen unfortunately because the you know sheer sheer force removes the secondary effect and also boosts the power of the move itself uh, so that is pretty good uh, he's gonna go for the waterfall here and he's gonna get the flinch which is really unfortunate because I, because I could have done um, way more damage on the Sumario and be able to actually take it out really easy on the next turn with something else such as Taurus because I was definitely confident that I would outspeed the uh, Asumario but Unfortunately, things don't work, don't go my way, which is you know really bad. But what can you do? It is it is a video game, so we cannot really uh, expect to win every single time. So um, I'm gonna send out my Toro here, um, and I'm gonna go for the Rock Climb, and that is definitely gonna take out the Sumario, hopefully. So let's go ahead and see if the HP goes down. Yep, yeah, it goes down, and uh, Sumario actually goes down, which is good. How many times did I say it went down? But <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Now the biggest pain of my existence here was Hitmon top because of the Intimidate. Uh, if it didn't have Intimidate, I would have been really, really happy because I could have gone for the Rock Climb and maybe do more than 60% damage or something like that. I was really, really um, confident that it would do at least that much. 
but um, unfortunately the Intimidate is gonna be crippling me all over the place and I'm gonna set out my swords man just as Death Father knowing that it would go for either the fake out or the close combat or something like that so <clears throat> that's how it works I'm gonna set out my Huntsgrave after I lose my uh, swords man and I'm gonna go for the drill whoa, whoa what is this I'm gonna go for the <laughs> drill pack here I'm gonna finish off the Roserade and uh, Roserade is gonna be taken down really good um, he's gonna stand out after that I believe he's the hitman top or no wait Raiko and this was really bad because almost this entire team is really fast and uh, there is absolutely not much on my team that can pretty much outspeed the Raiko so I might as well just go for the sucker punch because that seems to be the only move that I can hit Raiko with I could have gone for the super power or something like that but you know that Raiko has a way higher base speed than Honchkrow so it will definitely outspeed me and kill me off uh, without me doing any damage so that's why I went for the sucker punch right there uh, T-Bolt is gonna finish me off unfortunately guys and uh, yep that is not good um, I lose my Huntsgrave and now I'm gonna send out my Kingler Kingler is gonna go for the Crab Hammer that is gonna take him out which is great now remember the thing that I said at the beginning of the game guys the Taurus the Rock Climb missing on the Headman top is gonna be really crucial because of this look take a look intimidate goes off as the hitman top comes in so i go for the crab hammer now it doesn't really do that much but it's gonna go for the rapid speed now remember if i have uh if i have had that damage going on the hitman top with rock climb with uh, taurus at the beginning i would have stand a chance of taking out the hitman top and being able to at least pull out something right so that is not gonna work out in the end he goes for the rapid spin actually thinking that he might finish me over the rapid spin but i was uh he was trying to be uh pretty cool but he's not as cool as that as that so unfortunately, I'm gonna go for the Iron Head, and once again, guys, I'm such a freaking idiot. I really thought that I could get the flinch once again, but I really, really forgot about the sheer force. Um, that is what <laughs> I was such a face bomb there. Now that I'm looking at this video, really, really stupid, guys. I really apologize. I should definitely use my brains next time. And uh, yep, yeah, Taurus is gonna go down, and uh, this is pretty much the end of the match. He won by 2 0 really bad game in my opinion i wasn't really using my brains at all and i hope you guys don't mind that in the next video i'm gonna be playing a little bit more professional and i hope i can get you a very good wi-fi battle videos guys for you to watch and uh make sure to check out my latest video peace